I'm sorry. My daughter was 16 years old. She ran away from home and changed everything in our world. For two years, we didn't know whether she was alive or dead. As I began to fall apart, my wife began to fall apart. People began to pick and find fault until pretty soon I was in a bad way. I became depressed and actually psychotic. I fell apart in such a way that I lost my sanity. I turned to alcohol, I turned to psychiatrists, I turned to uh, psychiatric drugs. And I thought it was over, I really did. My whole family, including myself, were just waiting for me to die. I lived apart from the Lord, just trying to find a way to quench the despair in my life. During that 20 years of alcohol and psychiatric drugs, I was in and out of hospitals. They just kept giving me more and more and more medicines. At one time, I was taking antidepressants, antipsychotics, mood stabilizers, sleeping pills, and tranquilizers. And the only answer they could give me was, you need more. I'm sorry. That's good. I knew there was more, but I knew I wouldn't find it there. About a year ago, I wandered into Destiny Church, came in and sat down on the back row. The first thoughts that ran through my mind was that it's too loud and that kind of music doesn't belong here. They were singing about dry bones coming back to life. And in the middle of all that, God whispered to me, I can do that for you. And I left that morning with a heartbeat that I hadn't had in over 20 years. Thursday morning after having told my wife I was gonna try to not drink for a weekend, I woke up that morning, I didn't need and didn't want for the first time in literally decades. Easter came of 2021 and my son and several of the church at Destiny and myself were really wanting to see my daughter and her family come to the Lord. My grandson, Alex, was the only one that showed up that Easter Sunday morning, but that day he found Jesus and said yes to Jesus. A few weeks later, when it was time for baptism, Alex came and was baptized. My daughter and her entire family came. And in that service, something shifted in her and her husband's life in that they found Jesus as well. And God delivered me in a mighty way. As several were gathered and holding me up in prayer, the mental illness began to shift and begin to diminish until I no longer needed the psychiatrist or all of that prescription medicine. There's life after mental illness. There's life after alcohol and prescription drugs. Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus where he challenged God to show how much, how wide, how long, and how deep, and how high is his love. That I might be filled to measure with all the fullness of God. Now my prayer is glory unto God <laughs> in His church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. My name's Tim and God did a mighty miracle in me.